If Darren Drager's report is to be believed, the New York Rangers may have just given the worst explanation for not trading a pick at the trade deadline I have ever heard. So on Insider Trading on TSN, the panel was talking about a bunch of different topics with the trade deadline approaching, and Darren Drager gave his report that apparently the New York Rangers made an ask on Elias Lindholm before he was traded to the Vancouver Canucks. Now that trade was ultimately rejected, but apparently some of that might have had to do with the fact that the New York Rangers were not willing to part with their first round pick in the 2024 NHL draft. And the reason for that is really stupid. James Dolan, the owner of the New York Rangers, wants to protect the 2024 first round pick so that the Rangers can be part of the spotlight at the draft in the sphere because Dolan is also the owner of the sphere in Vegas. Doesn't mean that That's right. According to Darren Drager, the New York Rangers may not be willing to trade their first round pick in the coming NHL draft because the owner wants to have the team participating in the festivities at the sphere, which he is also an owner of. Because of course, if the Rangers don't have a first round pick, there's no way that they could participate in the festivities. They won't have any other picks in the rest of the draft for them to show up. As we all know, teams without first round picks don't even get tables at the NHL entry draft. Why would you? If you don't have a first round pick, you might as well not even show up. You can do the draft from home. Now, Drigger was quick to point out that this does not mean that Chris Drury, the GM of the New York Rangers, couldn't use a first round pick in a future draft. However, the implication does seem to be that there is some sort of commandment, or at least a very strong insinuation from Dolan that Drury is not to trade this first round pick in 2024. And this is stupid for a number of reasons. Number one, it just handcuffs your GM in terms of what he can and can't do. If Drury sees a guy out there that he thinks would be an impact player on a playoff run for the Rangers, he now has one less asset out there that he cannot trade. He is unable to trade that first round pick if this is to be believed. And just from a trade value perspective, the first round draft pick in the upcoming draft is way more valuable than a first round pick in a draft that's a year or two down the road because NHL GMs generally know if they're going to be around to be able to use it. Their scouting on the upcoming draft class is far better than the ones in the future. They know how the quality of this draft stacks up compared to others and therefore whether a first round pick in the coming draft is worth as much as say a first round pick last year or the year before that and therefore how to properly value the players they're trading away. But also there's just more certainty around how strong the team you're trading with is right now. If you're getting the Rangers first round pick in the 2024 draft, you have an idea that yeah, maybe they could be a late 20s, early 30s pick, but in all likelihood, they're probably the third or fourth best team in the East. So it's very unlikely they'll make it to the Eastern Conference Finals or to the Stanley Cup Finals. But in two years, who knows? The Rangers kids could continue to develop and the Rangers could become an absolute juggernaut or almost assured to go to the Stanley Cup Finals, and so that draft pick is slightly less valuable. But you know what? All of that could be forgiven if it wasn't for the fact that the restriction on trading this 2024 first round pick for the Rangers is apparently for the stupidest reason at all. It's not even related to the Rangers. It's related to Dolan, who wants to, I guess, have his team represented at his venue and use that opportunity to hobnob with some big wigs. And I love how Rangers fans who should be over the moon with how well their team has been performing of late have just seen their moods plummet at this news. The top comment on the Reddit thread discussing this report is my favorite from somebody with a Rangers flair. Were I not a Rangers fan, I would not believe this. Also, I absolutely believe this. And yeah, as somebody who is familiar with, with Dolan's history and how he ran the Knicks into the ground, it would not surprise me if he now sees the Rangers as a shiny new toy because they're being successful and he's decided that he's going to get in there and meddle. So if this report is true, I am so sorry, Rangers fans. Y'all deserve a much better owner than Jimmy Dolan.